Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology, four motion, and pyrite silver metallic. This particular one has the black wheel package. In addition to LED headlights, LED running lights, LED reverse lights, LED rear turn signals, black roof rails. This one has an added panoramic sunroof, keyless entry on four doors, that nice bowl line down the side that all of the atlases share. Faux exhaust tips at the back that are chrome plated. An oversized reflector at the back. It says SEV6, the bottom left corner of the hatch. Atlas in the middle, the nameplate right below the new Volkswagen logo. And the 4Motion logo right here in the bottom right corner. This will have Titan black leather on the interior. With a quartzite inset right here with a premium stitch here and a quartzite gray arm pad right here. Here's a look at the inside. It has a light colored headliner in this one, a gray colored headliner. It's a bench seat setup. There's a look through. Padded armrest right there with leatherette and a contrast stitch right down the side here. Also contrast stitching down the bolster here and up the shoulder and into the back here adjustable headrest more more contrast stitching there a chrome or a stainless steel scuff plate as you climb in here and as your seat set up right here you do have lumbar support right here forward and back and up and down are handled by this guy and then your seat back adjust is handled by this one as we climb in here wood grain interior right here across the dash surrounded by this flat silver finish the it joins up with the vent here goes across the top of the vent here into the wood grain over there above the glove box and over into the other door on that side there's your quartzite gray arm pad there and also the door inset with that premium stitch it's a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel with a splash of piano black right there also your volume control is right here and your song skip and preset skipper over here your assist systems so you can bring up right here you have a choice of ACC or adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, also side assist, which is your blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, and then also front assist, which is your autonomous emergency braking up front. So I can actually um, change this display as well. It's a three set, a three display setup here. There's the dial screen, there's the wide screen, and then there's the crop screen there. And I can change what's displayed there. Now this instrument cluster that you're looking at here, this is a digital cockpit pro minus navigation. This is not the standard one that would come with an SE Tech Atlas, but due to supply chain issues, they're putting it in them. So uh, the instrument cluster that you would get normally would be the same as is in the Taos and the Tiguan and now the 2022 Jetta. Automatic headlights right here. You have poor weather lights too, so you can pull out on that guy right there. This guy lights up. That uh, replaces your fogs. Then you also have a coin box for storage right here, a telescoping adjustable steering wheel. I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, and lock it where I need it. My temperature gauge is over here to the left. Fuel gauge over to the right right here. Here's a look at that radio. It's an AM FM satellite radio. It also has App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly in this car, along with a wireless charge pad right here. And then you two do have two USB-C connections right there that are also backlit at night so you can see those. A 12-volt charger port right here as well. You do have dual zone climate zone up here. And then back to this radio for a second here, we do have a rear view camera with trajectory steering. I can turn the wheel left and turn the wheel right. That yellow line moves accordingly. The green line stays put, the red line signifies where the bumper is. And in this uh, illustration here, this is your park distance sensors uh, showing up on the screen here. As I hit this button here, which activates it. As long as I'm in park or stationary, I can push this button and it will bring up my rear view camera without putting it in reverse. So just turning that off, now we're back to this guy. It's an AM FM satellite radio. Make sure the volume is turned down there. AM FM satellite radio, which also has um, gesture control, 
I can point to the screen right there. I just put my hand in front of the screen. It triggers this hand right here. It tells me it's looking for, for the gestures. So I can swipe my hand across there. Very nice. Um, and then uh, I have 36 song preset there. The dual zone climate zone, I have heated seats on both sides. Starts on high, then medium, then low, then off, just like that. And then I can bring up my vent settings. I can do different things there. And I can also adjust my temperatures as dual zone. So uh, I can have both sides, driver and passenger the same, or I can turn off the sink and have independent temperature settings there. I also have the rest button. The rest button is going to circulate air, continue to circulate air throughout the cabin once I get out of the car, either heated or cooled. Uh, until I return to the car. So if I were going into a convenience store, I can hit that rest button and it'll continue to circulate. My auto start stop shut off button is right here. Um, cup holders are all right here. This piano black around those. This being an all wheel drive model, I do have this little knob right here. I can turn it to snow mode. I'm gonna use that in accumulating snow when, I, when I'm driving or maybe slippery or hazardous road conditions. Uh, I do also have the roadway, which brings up eco, normal, sport, or custom. And if I like fingerprints, I'll just do it this way. But if I want to minimize the fingerprints, I can push the button here and change it just by doing the, the push on the screen on the uh, knob there. Now, I do also have a uh, off-road and off-road custom. Off-road custom is going to allow me to tweak certain aspects of the drive and change things. So I can turn things on or off uh, and just kind of do that stuff there. Now, I'm just going to turn it back to the roadway back so it's back to normal. Uh, here's a look at the passenger seat. This is a manual seat. It does have a little loop right there where I can slide forward and back. And it also has a uh, handle over here where I can adjust the seat back. This seat does not raise and lower. It just stays at the level that it's at. The armrest right here is padded leatherette right here with the contrast stitch. And then I do have in here a USB-C connection right here in addition, in addition to the other two. Lots of storage in here. There's actually a safe that I can drop in here that bolts in so I can lock valuables in there with that. There's a look at the back seats again. Up above here, here's a, a, a home link mirror. It's your auto dimming home link mirror with four do three door garage door memory, four buttons here. So that means you have the home link connect with it as well. So you've got uh, these three buttons and a Bluetooth button here, a digital compass up there, a vanity mirror on each side with an LED light right there and also over here. There's a look at that giant sunshade that hides this gorgeous panoramic sunroof. Very nice. So it's a power tilting sunroof. It opens up. That pane of glass stacks on top of that one. There's a pop-up windscreen right there. That glass is also tinted. So all of the windows on the Atlas are tinted except for the dri front driver and front passenger side windows. And of course the windshield. There's a look at your overall view, the glass in the car. Very nice. Let's take a look at the back. There's a look at those black alloy wheels. These are the same wheels that come on an SE Tech regular and silver. However, they're just powder coated with a gloss finish. Back here in the back, there is a sunshade for both driver side and passenger side rear passenger doors. You also have the arm pad right here, it's leatherette, uh, and then also the inset right here with the more of the premium contrast stitch right there with that quartzite gray. Bottle storage and cup storage down there. As we look at the window sticker on this one, this one's already sold, uh, but I wanted to go over it because uh, pretty much every piece of inventory is valuable to the video document now. $1,200 for the sunroof. Actually, it's $45,665. First off, $1,200 was added for a sunroof. $595 for the black wheel package. $375 for the auto dimming home link mirror. $325 for the monster mat set um, with the home, home link subscription and all of that good stuff right there. Trailer hitch, $165. And a roadside assistance kit for $90. Bringing you to that $45,565 number. Here's a look at the seats right here. It's a bench setup on this one. This is a 60-40 split. This being 60, that being 40. Fold down armrest right there, squishy yet firm. Folds up out of the way. Manually adjusted headrests on all three seats here. Now, these seats do slide forward and back. There's a bar underneath to slide them forward and back, and they do also fold flat using this handle here. So I can fold that seat down just like that. There's a look through to the back, and I can also lift up on this guy here. 
and put that seat back. The seat does move forward with this two-way switch here. Just lift up, seat pitches forward, bottom drops out, seat slides forward, and then lift up on the handle the opposite direction and put it back in place. There's a look at those, uh, those third row seats. The headrests are adjustable too. They just flick up with the flick of a wrist there. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. Well, actually, I forgot to show you the climate control here. And being that this one sold, we didn't even bother to stick the window sticker on. There's a look at the vents right there. Also your climate control, two USB-C connections right there, and a three-prong plug-in right there. Very nice. There's a look from the back to the front, and also at your giant panoramic sunroof. Very nice. Another look at those wheels there. Lots of space in this car, lots of comfort for tall people. So if you got people that are six foot plus, they're gonna be just fine in the Atlas, even in the third row. Here's a look through from the back to the front, true seven seater there, look at the panoramic sunroof, instrument cluster there, C-pillar vents on the left and right side for rear passengers. Also, two USB-C connections right here for a total of seven USBs in the car. More storage right here, and also over here for cups and drinks. These seats are still reinforced here with a steel plate. They fold flat. So you have extra space here. Those seats will also fold flat. Also still reinforced with a plate there. Uh, that's to prevent any items that are back here in the rear cargo area in the event of a rear crash from flying forward and uh, injuring people that are sitting in those seats. Seat belt clips on either side. And then there's also a 12 volt charger port right there. This one has the hitch extras, so the tow hitch ball is in there. Also, when you get the tow hitch extras now, you get the two inch tow hitch cover. The tow, the tow hitch accessories bag as well. This one has the roadside assistance kit, cargo blocks, and then monster mats as well. Underneath this floor right here is a carpeted floor, which hides the spare underneath that. You just remove that guy right there to get to the spare. There's your jack apparatus off to the right. Bag hook right here as well. So you have lots and lots of storage and goodies in this car. As I pull these up here, trying to do this with one hand and hold the camera up, there we go. There's a look over the back again. All three rows of seats. This car has a power lift gate that you can operate from the front driver's seat as well. Very nice. Here's a look at that tow hitch with the seven pin adapter already included. This car will come with a four-year, a four year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That includes two years of free maintenance, so your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me in Bomberito St. Peter's, I will give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are all covered. And also, if you buy from me in Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. If you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.